Hello, I'm Paul, and this is Talitha, a 28-foot 1940s double-ended wooden sailboat that I'm restoring here in Melbourne, Australia. If that interests you, then please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, please add some comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so I'm alone at the boat today, which is normal. And we know from before the mast is snapped and rotted. And uh, I don't know, it's a little bit higher than half. But let's see if I can get this down on the ground today. Um, as I said, I'll rebuild a new mast but uh, and a new boom. But I need to take measurements and at least save this mast until I can get some good measurements and then make a mast sometime down the road after the hull is complete. Okay, so the mast and boom are down and under the boat. Mast snapped in two, which I expected was going to happen. Basically, I just need to know where the sheaves were and where the spreaders were. I don't want to redesign the rig. I got new sails that was made for this rig as it was. So I think I can figure that out just from measuring the parts of this old mast. Okay, so here's the interior as I left her. Lots of garbage. So I need to get rid of that or scrape this side. I'm keeping those. I thought I was keeping the stuff up front, but I'm not so sure anymore. We'll see as we go. I'm not sure I can get rid of the trash today. Boat yard's pretty busy. Uh, have the wife's car, not my car. But we'll see what we can accomplish. Do need to get some more done and keep progressing the work. Uh, what thought about removing the bowsprit, but I'm not sure what it looks like. So let's get some Let's get up to the bow. Easier said than done today. I'm gonna have to move stuff regardless. Okay, it looks like, let me get some light on this for you guys. Here we go. It looks like one big bolt there. I assume there's another bolt up there somewhere. Aspirate must go through this. And the next one, uh, again, hard to tell other than that one bolt. Ah, that bolt and these four bolts here. So I might be able to get that off. I do need to remove the bow spread. It also is rotten. That might be something we get to today. Or just move trash around and get it out on the ground might be an idea as well. The whole port side of the boat is stuffed full of trash and parts. And based on that water, the boat is still leaking somehow. Well, there's no leaks directly over this, so it's a bit strange. Ah, uh, who knows where that water's coming from. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave the water tank up here on some wood blocks. Then I'm gonna open this hatch and I think I'm going to uh, work on the bow this morning inside. Take away the stuff that's garbage, start doing some scraping, maybe get the chain out of the chain locker. Eventually, we might get that bow spread off. Hatch. I redid it with decks only. Um, 
and took off a vent. I built a new hatch since. As you guys can see in an older video. I also moved the tarp. And the boat's sitting bow down slightly, which I was going to mark with a pencil on the hull just so I know on the inside. It is level port to starboard. Anyway, that's why we're not getting any draining. It's one of the reasons why there's no draining. I'm also curious here about this thing. I thought about it for a while. It's bronze. I think it's a shift lever. Flip up. Shift forward reverse. Go back. What do you guys think? Anyone have any idea what that is? Just uh, send me an email or uh, leave a comment below, please. I'd love to know. Okay, so the bow of the boat has much more light when the hatch is open. Uh, I may, well, I did build a hatch that has a deck light, so it should be lit, sort of like this. And this area is what I thought about putting a double bunk. A sailboat double bunk, obviously, a bit small. But uh, let's see if we can clean up the chain locker and sort out some of the crap up here.